For years we've worshipped great parenting on television, especially the fathers. You know, like Uncle Phil, Danny Tanner, Ray Campbell, Carl Winslow. Role models, stand-up guys for the most part. They had real character arts and development through their show's runtime. But uh, this man here is by far the worst dad in sitcom history. As you know, Moesha is now on Netflix at the time of this recording, and I'm actually excited it's available to watch. As I'm watching Moesha for the first time in years, I grew more and more hatred for this man. Which is why we're going to talk about what's wrong with Frank Mitchell. By the way, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, please. It helps me out a lot. Moesha was a monumental TV show. Now, as good as Moesha is, it wasn't the greatest show. But it was a major milestone in black television. I myself didn't really like how some of the conflicts were introduced and resolved. We'll just blame that on the writing. But the message was always there, so it wasn't all for nothing. Almost each character had a pivotal role and they executed. Moesha was trying to find her path in life while learning to be the voice of reason. She wasn't a perfect child, but she was more responsible than her peers. D, she was the loving mother figure with a strong presence and the authority over her family. Everyone filled their roles, except this man right here. And I say it again, he is by far the worst father in the history of television sitcoms. I mean, worse than him. Yes, and it cost more than the condom I should have used the night you were conceived. Now, Frank wasn't a completely horrible character. I appreciate him for being a father to his kids, as well as a father figure to Hakeem. He tried to steer his kids in the right direction, but I wouldn't agree with some of his tactics. He preached education, wanted his children and their peers to succeed in college and make something out of their lives. He even brought Moesha a brand new Saturn. I'm talking brand new, fresh off the lot. She low-key was ungrateful, but I like how she declined it and said she would work towards getting herself a Jeep and wasn't just being a brat about it which he understood her position and my personal favorite thing about Frank was that he was thrifty you don't need to buy trash bags for the bathroom when we go grocery shopping every week use the damn Walmart bags now as convincing as his actions may seem Frank uh how do you say ain't shit he called his daughter his daughter a tramp for getting a tattoo and wanted to wear a crop top to show it off. There were so many ways he could have avoided calling Moesha out her name. He is married to the Caribbean queen of Jamaica. She worked hard as a high school principal and she was definitely the ideal wife and mother. She had her flaws too, but this ain't about her. So I understand that the responsibility of cooking, cleaning, and washing clothes is unconsciously delegated to the woman of the house. But Frank, you aren't the only one who works full time. She has at least a 10 hour day at school dealing with horny ass teenagers. The least you can do is when you come home, just help her out with the cooking. They usually get home around the same time. If not, then he's probably there before her. He would rather sit in the kitchen and ask her when she comes home, what's for dinner? Can you cook? His deceased wife literally left him to take care of baby Moesha for a weekend because he was very unappreciative of her. Then she came back, took the baby, and left him for a few months so he can learn to appreciate a woman. This man was stuck in the leave it to beaver time period. One of the things that really pissed me off about Frank was that he was judgmental towards Q. He was quick to label him a thug and a troublemaker without getting to know who he was. Q was always respectful towards Moesha and her family. You know, yes sir, yes ma'am, Mr. Mitchell, Mrs. Mitchell. 
He wasn't just some bum who was trying to get some cookie or manipulate Moesha. He had dreams. He had dreams of being a music manager and worked towards fulfilling that dream while he was still in high school. And what does Frank do? He shits on the dreams of a 16, uh, 17 year old kid. He was always preaching education and going to college. He looked down on people who didn't elect to take that route. Don't get me wrong, higher education is always a good thing, but college isn't for everyone. Frank was so keen on, if you go to college, you're guaranteed success. Q was successful without college. He wasn't gangbanging or robbing people. He was focused on music and making legal money cutting hair. But Frank was too arrogant to see past Q's appearance. Not to mention that $400 charge on Moesha's car to get him out of jail for some parking tickets. But that's on her, not him. That's besides the point. In the end, Q eventually proved Frank wrong and Frank didn't even congratulate or apologize to him. It took for them to go to a seminar for sons and fathers for Frank to acknowledge the kind of person that Q really was. I think that Frank doesn't have faith in his parenting abilities. He doesn't trust his kids enough. I'm not saying he should just believe everything they say or just be gullible, but there are some things that he should have evaluated further before jumping to a conclusion. For instance, when he caught Moesha and Usher coming down the steps at the slumber party, of course any parent would be furious and lay down law. But when your daughter goes to the length of moving out to prove her innocence, you think, hmm, Moesha is usually honest with me about boys. Moesha knows how important her body is because I instilled that into her and she hasn't given me a reason to believe that she would disrespect herself by having sex at a party full of her peers. And she would rather go to the extreme of moving out than tell the truth. It doesn't make sense. And what about Dorian? Dorian came home from boot camp and was accused of stealing a bracelet for some intern at Frank's car dealership. The purpose of sending Dorian to the boot camp was to teach him discipline, responsibility, maturity, and respect. When Dorian came back, he was cleaning, being respectful, remorseful, and appreciative. But once again, Frank didn't assess the situation. Frank didn't think, Dorian may be sneaky, but he's not stealing anything to get a girl. He just got back from boot camp that whipped him into shape. He's not going to throw that away for some chick, especially when we're all glad he's home and admiring his new change. With Frank not trusting Dorian 2.0 and reverting to treating him like Dorian 1.0, Dorian 2.0 went back to his old ways since his uncle slash father won't see him as anything more than his troublemaking bastard son. And while we're on the subject of Dorian, let's get into the real reason Frank Mitchell is the New York Knicks of TV dads. Remember when I said Frank and Moesha's mom broke up for a few months? During that hiatus, jolly old Frank went to Club Barbara Lee and shot it up, resulting in her being pregnant with Dorian. So once Moesha's mom and Frank got back together, she told him that baby Dorian wasn't welcome in their home. So Frank pawned him off to his sister to raise. So fast forward 17 years when Dorian accidentally finds out, this is the excuse for not telling him. Why Frank? We agreed to wait until Dorian was 18. Why couldn't you stick to that? Like, are you serious? Would that really make a big difference from telling him at 18 versus 17? Now, I'm not a father, but as a man, there's not a chance in hell I'm going to just give up my child just to make someone else feel secure. I understand that that was his wife and she could have taken Moesha from him, but he could have one, changed her mind, or two, just be in Moesha's life without being with her mother. The show's writers tried to make it seem like Frank was always there for Dorian when he was growing up. You're about five months old and burning with fever. Saying then I had to rush you to the hospital, and that's when we found out the hard way you're allergic to penicillin. It was one of the worst nights of my life. Really? After this news broke, Frank just automatically wanted to be called dad. 
The show really tried to make Frank to be an all-American dad, but they failed miserably. He was low-key misogynistic, lacked trust in his kids, and he gave away one of his seeds. He had potential to be one of the greatest fathers on television, or at least, you know, in the uh, at least the middle tier. But they dropped the ball on him. They really dropped the ball. And if you don't believe me, I recommend you go and watch the show on Netflix, then come back to this video and comment below on your views on Frank Mitchell. Also, let me know who you think is the worst TV parent in sitcom history. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this, and I'll see you next time.